Coming up, a shocking and disturbing new report that makes clear just how broken our immigration system is. Over the past five years, more than 100 illegal immigrants who were detained and then released went on to be charged with murder. Think this just might have something to do with Trump and his massive walls popularity? And later on, Germany says enough to the violence that unchecked immigration has brought into our country with record numbers of sexual assaults being committed by Muslim migrants. So what does this mean for our country as we plan to take in 10,000 Syrians right here to our own shores? Stay with me. I'm back in two. I'll see you here. More than 100 murders since 2010 could have been prevented with a stronger immigration policy. That's according to a new report from the Center for Immigration Studies. And it shows between 2010 and the first half of last year, 124 illegal immigrants who were caught, detained, and then released went on to be charged with murder. Ashley Webster joins me now with more on this, I, I'd say, stunning report. Oh, it will make your blood boil. These people were in jail. They were in the country illegally. Mm -hmm. They were also committing criminal acts, so they were in jail. Then they were released and went on to commit. They weren't deported. They were, went on to create horrible crimes, and in this case, 124 murders. Why weren't they deported? Good question. In many cases, they're not actually uh, earmarked to be deported. They're just released from jail. And then those that were earmarked for deportation, mm -hmm. their home country said they didn't want them back. They Wait a second. So your home country says we don't want you, and yep. we say, okay, well, well, we'll, we'll continue taking you despite the fact that you're in and out of jail? Yes. Ridiculous. 75% were released under court orders for a variety of different reasons. But of all of those, just 3% were actually deported. Amazing. I mean, this, this of course, harkens back to the Kate. Steinle murder yes. uh, that happened in San Francisco with a guy who had been deported from this country five times. Yes. Um, but it, it was sort of like the left hand wasn't talking to the right hand. Well, I think and Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, as they like yes. to call themselves, are very frustrated because they do their job. They catch people who are in this country illegally committing crimes, in some cases murders. They arrest them, put them in jail, and for whatever reason, these people, not always for the murder cases, but in many other cases, are released and caught multiple times. And it's your money, my tax everybody's money that's paying to is, do is this a just system a that just goes around. Red tape? Yes. Or is this in part just policies that are... It's a, it's a, a number of things. Perhaps. Certainly uh, President Obama's open border immigration strategy plays into this. And mm -hmm. this doesn't include all those people that are excluded, the illegal aliens are excluded through mm -hmm. sanctuary cities. That wasn't even yeah, that's included. Right. We get a lot of sanctuary cities, Very quickly, I've got to give you this cities. stat. 2014, um, ISIS, or ICE that is, released 30,000 criminal aliens. On, they were in jail on 92,000 convictions. So basically wow. each criminal, illegal criminal alien was committing three crimes. Only 3% of that 30,558, to be exact, were actually deported. You know, it, look, um, it, Donald Trump has taken a lot of criticism for yep. his immigration policy and the, you know, the conjuring up of the wall, the image well, that is, is an racist. image that, yes, mm. that people do not like. But then you hear statistics like this, mm. and it's clear, Ashley, I mean, it, it's pretty hard to sugarcoat this. We have a problem. Huge problem. It always has been. But in this day and age, you know, it's like he says, a country without borders is not a country. You've got to have some demarcation line. And if you don't enforce it, then this is what happens. And it's not just people from Mexico. There are many people from many different countries streaming up. Many do not commit crimes, but some do. And when they are caught, we're not doing anything about oh, yeah. it. We and just it's... continue to rejail them and then let them go again. And you want to have an immigration policy that brings in the best people, that brings yes. in the people that want to come here, that want to work, that want to participate in our culture and in our economy for the betterment of themselves and their own families, but not Actually, criminals. Actually, a law that can be enforced and is consistent. And that's something we just don't have. Ashley Webster, thank you very much. My pleasure. All right.